the United States' second private crew-carrying spacecraft is now ready to transport humans. After several years of delays and a staggering assortment of mishaps during test flights, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft is finally prepared to launch its first crewed mission. However, is Boeing Starliner safe to use? Why has NASA chosen Boeing over SpaceX? Will NASA continue to employ Starliner for future missions? Let's find out. Boeing's Starliner crew capsule, which has faced years of delays and cost overruns totaling over $1.5 billion, is poised to take its inaugural flight with humans on board. Boeing was picked 10 years ago with SpaceX to construct a spaceship capable of transporting humans from the United States to the International Space Station, allowing NASA to seize its reliance on Russia for crewed missions. The businesses were each granted a fixed price contract under NASA's commercial crew program, $4.2 billion for Boeing Starliner and $2.6 billion for SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Their initial target of 2017 proved to be a little overly ambitious. SpaceX completed its first crewed mission in 2020 and has flown around a dozen more since, while Boeing has struggled to get its Starliner capsule off the ground. However, on May 6th, it will complete its first crewed flight. The Starliner is already at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Launch Complex 41, connected to the ULA Atlas V rocket that will transport it to the International Space Station. The capsule will contain two NASA astronauts, Butch Wilmore, the mission's commander, and Suni Williams, the pilot. The Starliner is projected to take roughly 24 hours to reach the ISS after takeoff. And because this is a test trip, the onboard crew will have a long list of system and equipment tests to do along the journey. While the Starliner can fly autonomously, the crew will test its manual controls to ensure they are functional for manual abort scenarios. After the Starliner arrives at the space station, the astronauts will spend roughly a week working with the existing crew. With all of the delays and reported issues, can we trust the Starliner's safety? Not only is this the first crewed flight for the Starliner, but it is also only the third flight overall. In spring 2022, the spacecraft without anybody aboard successfully showed its capacity to approach, dock, and undock from the International Space Station during its second orbital flight test. During its previous launch attempt in 2019, Starliner failed to reach the International Space Station due to a software glitch that caused it to consume excessive fuel, a critical issue among several that Boeing overlooked after deciding against conducting comprehensive end-to-end -end testing at the time. It's also had several additional issues in the years since Boeing won the NASA contract, forcing the business to fall significantly behind SpaceX. A dangerous gasoline spill occurred during a 2018 test. Then, rust caused valves in the propulsion system to stick, delaying Boeing's plans for a 2021 launch as reported by Ars Technica earlier this year. Last summer, problems with the spacecraft's parachute deployment mechanism stalled preparations for a launch, forcing the team to remove about a mile of flammable tape. Boeing has also had its fair share of issues outside Starliner during this period, facing greater scrutiny on the safety of its airplanes, specifically the 737 MAX line, following two tragic disasters in 2018 and 2019, on top of other incidents. In January, a panel on a 737 MAX 9 blew off mid-flight, forcing the plane to make an emergency landing. The May 6th flight is a significant step towards Starliner's certification as a crew transport vehicle that NASA may use in its rotation for missions to the ISS. Both NASA and Boeing have said that the capsule has undergone extensive testing and is ready for carrying individuals NASA completed its crew flight test readiness review of the Starliner on April 25th. The first crewed flight of a new spacecraft is an absolutely critical milestone, NASA Associate Administrator Jim Free said during a briefing on the completion of the review. The lives of our crew members Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore are at stake. We don't take that lightly at all. The latest review is the culmination of a detailed review season that has really thoroughly established that we are really ready to go on this flight, said NASA Chief Flight Director Emily Nelson. NASA officials also stated that they are working more closely with Boeing than ever before, with ground workers at Boeing's facilities overseeing some of the modifications the firm has completed ahead of the next Starliner voyage. Steve Stitch of NASA, who is in charge of managing all parts of the Starliner program, expressed confidence in the probability analysis of crew loss during the flight, with the results falling within NASA's safety limits. Compared to these issues, SpaceX's Dragon is doing quite well. 
They are NASA's only partner that has operated human flights independently for over four years. NASA is fortunate that Dragon is operating so well given that the Starliner program is not where they intended it to be. NASA intended for both companies to function concurrently. Each crew Dragon and Starliner spacecraft would act as a backup for the other, giving astronauts the option of continuing to conduct missions even if technical faults or other hurdles forced one spacecraft to land. This is why NASA has chosen Boeing over SpaceX in order to make this dream a reality. However, when NASA first awarded contracts to SpaceX and Boeing in 2014, it chose Boeing, a long-standing partner, over SpaceX, which was then a very new and uncertain company. NASA officials stated at one point in 2020 that they had increased inspection of SpaceX and its unconventional practices, while problems with Boeing's Starliner slipped through the cracks. But look at where the two companies are now. SpaceX is no longer a young, unpredictable business. Instead, Starliner is the unpredictable one. For comparison, Dragon's technology surpasses Starliner by a mile. Boeing's technology appears just like it did decades ago, and it is reminiscent of NASA's space shuttle. The Crew Dragon 2 features a better thermal shell, which might allow for speedier re-entry back to Earth, allowing it to work outside of the ISS's LEO. Even if Boeing succeeds, they will only be able to conduct two launches every year. It's a one-time use rocket made from leftover space shuttle components. SpaceX completely revamped their rockets and Crew Dragon spacecraft from the ground up, reverse engineering previous engine systems and dramatically upgrading each area with new interfaces, materials and understanding. The interface inside the Starliner cockpit could not be more different from the slick touchscreen used to handle SpaceX's Crew Dragon control panels. Screens and keypads dominate the astronaut's field of vision. NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley seem to engage very briefly with a row of three nearby touchscreens during SpaceX's May 30th launch. Crew Dragon performs the majority of the flying. Throughout the test flight, the two pilots manually intervene just twice. SpaceX's per-ticket pricing is far lower than the cost of flying astronauts on Boeing's Starliner. SpaceX's most recent per-seat ticket price is $75 million, according to a 2019 study by NASA's Office of Inspector General. Boeing flights are likely to cost $100 million per ticket, which is already far more than what Roscosmos was charging. Compared to what Boeing will charge, SpaceX's ticket rates reflect millions of dollars in saving each space voyage. Given SpaceX's significant progress, it seems unlikely that Boeing will catch up even if its upcoming launch is successful. Perhaps with greater ambition, Boeing could have maintained pace with SpaceX. That ends today's video. Please share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.